How's it going guys? I hope everyone is doing well. This Battlefield 2042 video will be about my helicopter settings. There will be testing and also flying strategies I use. I have received uh, some questions in regards to if I use controller and or keyboard and mouse. Uh, one question particularly came from Oreo Man and the comment gave me the idea to make this video. So shout out to you Oreo Man. I didn't forget about you bud. Um, I'm not too good at tutorials but I will do my best. I'm definitely not the best pilot. Uh, I have a different strategic approach versus other pilots. So hopefully this can help some of you or even beginners that want to start flying. If you enjoy the video, give me a like as it will help out the channel. If you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe. It'll definitely help me out. Also, don't be afraid to leave a comment. If you have tips or tricks, leave them. Share with everybody. All right, uh, now let's uh, get into it. Okay, so on the uh, Apache weapons, I mainly use 127 millimeter anti-rockets and uh, I also use the wire guided missile as you've noticed in some of my videos the smart rockets I tend to stay away from and the these uh, 70 millimeters the 127s in the air to ground are the wire guided <laughs> work uh, good of course these are the same there's no changes there that can be made and same for the gunner I just wish they didn't nerf this for the gunner. It was much better before. <laughs> now for the Holcomb, it is the same 127. After the nerf to the 30 millimeter cannon, uh, it was pretty frustrating. So I switched to the 127s and um, I've just been happy ever since. Just got to be a little bit more patient. I know the 30 millimeter cannon can take out aircraft much faster you can engage um, little birds and even the stealth much faster in the air but you know, if you take your time and you're patient with the 127s you should be just fine just got to be a little more patient horse wire guided definitely for this and of course these other equipment slots down here there's no changes Same for the gunner when I am flying the little bird, I always use the mini guns. I never really use the the mounted the 20 millimeter cannon. Um, nothing against them. I just mini guns just feel better for me, and I'm sure they do for a lot of other pilots. Uh, air to ground missiles. I like to give uh, some of the armor some heat down there and um, apply some pressure that way, so we can get rid of them and maybe infantry can take them out eventually I don't use these rocket packs anymore uh, since I have the mini guns of course the equipment slots there no changes there are the commander seat now for the stealth I I like to use the machine gun pods the 30 millimeter millimeter cannons were nerfed and so I stopped using those and I'm sure a lot of others have too heavy machine gun pods work great wire guided missile definitely for this one it works great in combination with the bombs hit them with the toe drop some bombs and keep moving <laughs> equipment slot i i disagree with them combining this together uh it's countermeasures you definitely need and i just honestly think there should have been an equipment slot uh too for the repair system i don't know Leave your thoughts in the comments about that. I just kind of I disagree with what they've done with this. And the gunner, of course, there's no changes here. It's uh, same equipment slot and primary weapon. Okay, so let's uh, dive into the actual uh, keyboard and mouse settings. My mouse settings outside of the game is set to 1600 DPI and i set it that high so that way i can in the game i can adjust it accordingly and it seems to be working great that way um as for the keyboard in general this is all pretty much default here nothing's changed uh movement definitely these this is the important area a throttle up throttle down y'all right y'all left that's all 
default pitch up, pitch down are set. I use that with my mouse. And I also applied the space bar for pitch up. And that is great for evasive maneuvering. If you need to get out of certain situations or if you overshoot armor and you need to turn around quickly, hit that space bar, hit the yaw, flip around, and try and finish off that armor. Works great. The mouse trying to do evasive maneuvering with pitch up was you know, you're moving that mouse up and down your mouse pad it just doesn't respond as quick as just hitting and holding the space bar roll right roll left that's my mouse all this other settings are my mouse um view rear camera that was originally set default to the mouse wheel you'd have to push on the mouse wheel and as i was flying i would try to see what's behind me and push on the mouse wheel and it it, it was just causing me some issues. Some pilots might like it, um, but it's not working for me. So I went ahead and did something that I'm more familiar with, and that's uh, R for reload. Just like if you're down on the ground, you reload your, your gun. Um, rear, R, so it works well. Weapons uh, and equipment. Uh, this is all the same. Nothing changed here. Now let's jump into the actual uh sensitivity settings so vertical flight that is off i'm not too sure if that was on a default i can't remember it's been a while but i set it to off uh, aircraft control sensitivity this is for airplanes and the helicopter control sensitivity of course it's for helicopters i generally fly at 70. Uh, if i'm flying the hind or the condor i raise this up because they are heavier and I want to get a little bit more response out of them quicker. And if I do fly aggressively with the Holcomb or the Apache, I will maybe bump this up. You know, I might go up a little higher. But if I decide, oh, you know what, I want to fly I want to, uh, in the Little Bird, I, you're gonna have to, I lower this down because that Little Bird is already agile and it's crazy if it's up. And it's doable, some pilots might like it, but uh, aircraft camera roll, that's on definitely turn off helicopter control assist so with that let's get into actual sensitivity testing all right so let's uh, do some testing i'm in a bot server it's really the only safest area we can do this testing based on sensitivity without getting shot down by a plane or another helicopter so let's give this a test so let's start out with um Let's go below default. Let's just try 40, right? And we'll see how the sensitivity is. My mouse pad is rather large, so if I move this uh, to roll left, yeah, it's pretty good. And I'm, I'm moving it pretty far, my mouse pad, and then it's not banking too much. Not banking too much, and we'll rock it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right. So now let's do a uh, we'll do a yaw. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,000. So eh, I'd say eh, we'll just round it to 1,006. Let's change it now back to default and see how this goes. I believe default is 70. Try this 70. Right. And we're going to do the same test we did at 40. So we're going to roll left. Oh, much more sensitive. I don't need to move my mouse very far to get that to hard bank. See that? And I would think the same would apply to a controller on the sticks. It's just, you know, sensitivity is where it's at is really what's going to change. It's going to read it a lot faster and then make the aircraft move. So we'll rock back and forth, left and right. Seems a little bit more sensitive, see? Much more bouncy and agile. Alright, so let's try the <clears throat> let's try the yaws. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, one thousand. So I would say the yaw speed is gonna be the same. Um it feels the same. So Alright, so let's go to a hundred. And remember if 
you're going to be flying these heavier helicopters and you have a setting at let's say 70 for these if you decide to fly the little bird that little bird's going to be a lot more agile and a much faster response than it is than these so just a heads up on that you may want to lower it just a tad for the little birds if you're flying them or you might like it fast all right so let's try let's try 100 let's go all the way up all right so i'll do the same tests we'll roll left oh wow that's really sensitive you see how i'm almost going upside down there i'm pretty much vertical on the side see that that's really sensitive really sensitive at 100 did fly at 90 before i and I, it was just a little too fast for me uh, sometimes if i want to get a little bit more aggressive with these attack helicopters i will bump it up to 100 but this is just to show you see look at i mean we're almost tipping upside down all right let's try the yaw 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1000. So, yaw doesn't change. Pitch, really sensitive. Look at this, straight up. Yep, we're real sensitive there. All right, that uh, that that does it for the sensitivity. Hope this helped. Let's. Uh talk about actual flying and some tactics I use every time I spawn in the helicopter I don't rush in especially with the Holcomb and Apache this is risky I use the patient approach by leveraging the sidelines of the map to scope out everything then plan my attacks when I fly the little bird in stealth I can be a little bit more aggressive but with the Apache and Holcomb uh, I get better results by you know using planned attacks um, it works just like flanking when your boots are on the ground uh, also uh, use the digital map I use that often to uh, to your advantage so you can locate points to engage and uh, you know plan out those attacks and they've just been successful more than uh, more than ever hopefully I covered everything in this video and and hopefully it was helpful if I forgot something uh, please let me know in the comments and thanks again Oreo man if it wasn't for your comment I would not have made this video and uh, hey if you enjoyed it leave me a like if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe see you on the next video bye for now take care